Shalom from Jerusalem. I am Tiffany Pardue here with Joelle Eckstein of the Eckstein Project. Joelle, thank you for being with us today. We are in Jerusalem on the promenade and I'm so thankful that you are taking time to meet with us. I have heard it said that you and your husband, former Rabbi Eckstein, uh, may he rest in peace, visited more Christian churches than potentially any other Orthodox Jewish couple in the world. And so <laughs> we, did. we, we did. honor you and we thank you for helping to grow Jewish Christian relationships. And today uh, we want to talk about your work, but we're going to start. Joelle is the author of The Rabbi's Widow, and we will have a link for you in the description. But you were telling me a bit about how you really had no idea what it was like to be a widow, obviously, until you were. So will you talk with us a bit about that? Yes, I was uh, telling you that I had a friend who was a widow, mm -hmm. a very close friend. And when she became a widow, I was uh, with her a lot, comforting her, helping her. And I thought I understood her pain. When my husband died, I realized that day I have no idea what she was going through. It's that, it's, it's that much of a difference. Um, I can't even begin to explain. I wrote a whole book about it. Yeah, well, we'll <laughs> read the book. Absolutely, absolutely. Um, it was completely paralyzing. Mm. You know, I couldn't, um, I couldn't read a page of a book without, in, and understand it. I would reread over and over and over yeah. and like, it's not going through. I, w I felt like I was going crazy at first. Mm. Like, what, what is wrong with me? Why can't I remember anything? Mm. Somebody would tell me, we're meeting at five. When did you say we're meeting? Like nothing. They call it, actually, I learned after that it's very common and it's called widow's fog, really. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> um, but people don't know that mm -hmm. and they think, she's going crazy or she's right. not uh, functioning. And yes, for the first two years, I did not function at all. Um, the third year started getting better. Okay. And it's been four and a half years now. Wow. wow. Yeah. Well, this is what has motivated you to found the Eckstein Project. So will you share with us a bit about what the Eckstein Project is doing in the land? I did not want any widows to go through what I went through. I, I want to help them, be there for them, tell them that, no, they're not going crazy. Mm -hmm. it's, uh, <laughs> it's okay, it's normal what you're going through. And until somebody is there next to you and tells you that uh, and gives you hope, when they see me, that I'm, today I'm functioning mm -hmm. and I have um, a happy life. Mm -hmm. So that encourages them a lot and, uh, and gives them hope. So um, I lead myself, the support groups, wow. and uh, some of them even in my own home to make mm. it, you know. Um, Family, more, more yeah, yeah, yeah. welcome in. Uh -huh. Wow, it's beautiful. And uh, one day, one of the widows uh, hugged me and she said, thank you for saving my life. She made me cry. And I, I understood that I was doing the right thing. Ah, wow, wow. Well, we with the Global Esther Fast are fasting and praying for God's promises for Israel. We are praying for the protection of the IDF soldiers, and we are praying for the defeat of the violent spirit of Amalek. Uh, but we know that Israel is suffering and that there are more widows now uh, because of this war. Mm -hmm. And so we absolutely want to pray for your ministry and for the comforting, for the comfort, comfort my people um, in Israel uh, with the widows. And so mm -hmm. we will be putting that in the description. What can yes. you thank say? You. Thank you so much. First of all, we need your prayers and the Global Esther Fast is there for us. So thank you so, so much. Um, that's, that's first of all what we need. Uh, this has been a paralyzing um, event mm. for us and especially the widows. It, for me personally, it took me back to the first few months when my husband died. We had 1,400 people murdered, yeah. massacred. It's something that can't even imagine. Yeah. Um, the first few days I was unable to get out of bed, eat, drink, nothing. It was like I was 
going through my grief all over again. And the whole country was like that. Yeah. Um, we're, still, we're, we're slowly, slowly coming out of it, but by helping others is the way we um, recover. Mm. That's what I found. By helping other widows, I was starting to feel better. Mm. So now we have to be there for them. There are so many widows, new widows mm -hmm. in Israel now mm -hmm. that it's, it's just heartbreaking. It's, it, really, it really is. And we need to do a lot for them. Yes. We need to uh, answer the phone, be there for them, to talk with them, uh, go visit them, hug them. You know, it's one of the things that people don't realize when you lose a, a parent or a, a relative, it's, it's heartbreaking. And I'm not, I don't want to compare. It's, it's very, very hard. When you lose your husband, you have nobody to hug, nobody to comfort you. Where do you put your head on? What shoulder do you put your head on to, to grieve? And that's one of the things that um, is, is so important, to be there for a widow and give her a hug. You don't need to say anything. Yeah. Just be there. Um, people bought me maybe a care package, and that's what we're trying to put together now. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Care packages yeah. with a comforting note and going one by one, recruiting volunteers to go and visit these new widows mm. and try to help them as much as we can. I know it's not something that happens overnight and mm -hmm. it's a very, very long process. So we, we're, we're going to be there for them today, mm -hmm. but also for the next two, three years, because it takes that long to recover. Yeah. Wow. Well, God bless your work, Joelle. We Christians around the world, the orphan, the widow, we have grieving families and so we want to surround you and we so thank you for helping us better understand what you are doing, how we can get involved and how we can act as we fast, as we pray, lift up Joelle and her ministry um, and all the new widows in the land and visit the website, learn more about this work. Um, thank you. Is there anything you else you want to say to those that are fasting and praying before we go? I want to say that not only people were murdered, but their houses were burnt. They are left with nothing. People who had a regular life, like you and me, mm. a home, your children, all of a sudden have nothing. These are not people we, um, that were poor or didn't have a home. These are refugees, Israeli refugees in our own land. Something unheard of. Yeah. They have absolutely nothing and no home to go back to. For months and months, we're going to have to more than support, give them actual financial help. The government is doing a lot, and there are a lot of nonprofits who are doing amazing work, but everybody needs to act. Every, every little piece helps, and uh, just thank you. Thank you to the, the Global Esther Fest, and thank you to all of you for your prayers. Absolutely, our pleasure. Thank you, Joelle. <laughs> thank you.